I done a Bachelor of Science at UWA, uh, specialising in marine science. Um, similarly, I did a Bachelor of Marine Science at UWA and an honours year as well at UWA. For my PhD, I'm looking at the seagrass up in Shark Bay. Shark Bay is about 800 kilometres north of Perth and it's a world heritage site, so it's really important, um, not just to Western Australia, but Australia as a whole, it's of global significance. Um, and my research is looking at how the seagrasses up there are going to respond to, to future environmental changes and also how they get their nutrients up there because it's a really, really nutrient poor system. So these are some of the, the fundamental questions that, that I'm looking at myself. My research area is looking at high latitude corals along West Australia's coastline. I'm interested in areas between Ningaloo and Esperance on the south coast. It's about a 2,000 kilometre stretch of coastline and, and the area is a temperate ecosystem and I'm interested in the role of corals and the ecology in the temperate ecosystem, specifically looking at the geographical component, um, the, how fast they grow and how their growth relates to temperature, um, the competition that these corals face um, with seaweeds and their uh, reproductive state, whether they're reproducing or recruiting in from northern areas. Starting off with the university as a whole, it is, it, it's a cracking university and it's got state-of-the-art facilities that, that actually actively help me in, in my own research. So um, yeah, some of the facilities here are not just you know some of the best in Australia, but some of the best in the world. I, I've just started out, but I've been able to use the boating and car facilities that UWA has. And it's, yep. It's really great. You get to go out and go diving all the time. <laughs> Makes it interesting. <laughs> so I have a lot of support from my lab group. They're really good and knowledgeable about um, their topics and in general in helping you and the wider UWA community is always willing to help you out and get you to where you want to be. So I'd like to continue researching so my supervisor's sort of pointing me in the right direction and telling me that I need to publish papers and <laughs> that sort of, yeah, get into teaching and that. Yeah, I mean, I think this, the culture in the school, plant biology as a whole, is really quite conductive for research. We, we do get a lot of support, not just from our own supervisory teams, but from, from the school as a whole. Um, we go over to Rotnest once a year, the school pays for it, and we get to go over and talk about our our own studies with, with the rest of the school and we get advice from you know top class academics as well um, and there's support structures present throughout the school from the field work to the administration to the, the, the teaching side of what we do here that really do assist uh, in our time in plant biology. Ideally I'd love to, to stay in research um, I'd like to go into to a postdoc when, when I finish sometime next year and, and carry on with the research because you know I love asking questions that nobody's ever asked before and trying to answer those questions, I feel it really rewarding. And I'd like to, to do a bit of teaching as well because I've had a taste during my PhD and I've really enjoyed it, so I'd like to carry that one as well. I'm the same, I'd like to continue researching, whether that be through an education institution or government department. There's so many unanswered questions about Western Australian coast and marine life 